Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's Jay Rockefeller on the dais, on the bench, talking about better off not ever having the Internet. He's trying to pass bills right now to restrict free speech in America. Now, I want to shift gears. We're now going to cover the story of the missing flesh-eating Pentagon robot story. This story from Fox News and similar headlines were all over other news publications on July 14th, 15th, and 16th. This printout is from July 15, 2009. Upcoming military robot could feed on dead bodies. There it is for you on screen. Luckily, we had printed out several copies of this, but you cannot find this article and the few other news agencies that went with the same or similar headlines. Also, also have removed the headline and replaced it with things like this. Biomass eating military robot is a vegetarian company says. So when you go to the link of where this story was, upcoming military robot could feed on dead bodies, you get the story that the flesh-eating robot is actually a vegetarian, say, inventors. Now, let's go ahead and read the Fox News story, the original one. Now, in media, they're supposed to correct the original story but never pull it. So this is a new memory hole system for Fox News to simply completely trash the old article and replace it with the one on your screen that's up there today. Upcoming military robot could feed on dead bodies. It could be a combination of 19th century mechanics, 21st century technology, and 20th century horror movie. A Maryland company under contract to the Pentagon is working on a steam-powered robot See, old technology is really good technology that would fuel itself by grabbing up whatever organic material it can find, grass, wood, old furniture, even dead bodies. Robotic Technologies, Inc.'s energetically autonomous tactical robot, that's right, ETER is what it stands for, can find, ingest, and extract energy from biomass in the environment and other organically based energy sources, as well as use conventional and alternative fuels such as gasoline, heavy fuel, kerosene, diesel, propane, coal, cooking oil, and solar, when suitable, reads the company's website. That biomass and other organically based energy sources wouldn't necessarily be limited to plant material. Animal and human corpses contain plenty of energy, and they'd be plentiful in a war zone. Eater will be powered by the waste heat energy developed cyclone power technology out of Florida which uses an external combustion chamber burning up fuel to heat up water in closed-loop engineering electricity. Yeah, water power is great. That's what nuclear power plants do. They boil the water with, with, with the nuke rods and then power things. It's a great system. The advantages of the military are the robot could be extremely flexible in fuel sources and could roam on its own for months, even years, without having to be refueled or serviced. See, roam for months. Perfect. Upon... The Eater platform, the Pentagon could build all sorts of things, a transport, an ambulance, a communications event center, even a mobile gunship. In press materials, robotic technology presents Eater as an essentially benign artificial creature that fills its belly with foraging despite the obvious military purpose. Okay, but the issue is, regardless of whether they're designed to eat human flesh or not on the battlefield, or animal flesh or whatever. They are out designed to kill. And let's show folks some of the images of the eaters. Now, these are the declassified robots. I've talked to Marine Corps armorers and others in development. They say they can't get into it, but yes, it's much more advanced. Just like they, you know, they had it for 25 years, the B-2 bomber, and they rolled it out in 87. So they'd had it since the late 60s. And they already have had swords. In fact, Google that, swords used in Fallujah with machine guns or grenade launchers, and they admit they plan to use these against the citizenry. And that's why the globalists want these systems, because they can have robotic aircraft, robotic drones, robotic predators, robotic reapers, 
AI systems, AI combat robots that will kill and can be delivered by robotic troop ships themselves or robotically dropped with parachutes and then the elite can launch whole military operations without having to have troops follow the orders. Like a General Fox Fallon says no to Bush on attacking Iran, they can launch drone attacks on Iran. Skynet is not something out of the movie Terminator. The Pentagon has called the system Skynet. We'll be right back.